according to the NCAA, Emmert is stepping down effective June 23. That's a, a year from now. And there is even speculation, as this story breaks, that it could come sooner, as soon as the uh, NCAA finds a replacement. But uh, when he was extended about a year and a half ago, there was absolute outrage uh, among the industry. And as a result, uh, I think uh, he, what he got was a golden parachute, which anyone at his age would want when you make three million dollars a year. You want to be protected so you can uh, you know, continue to live the same lavish lifestyle that you enjoyed while you were while you were shepherding and, and leading uh, the NCAA into the abyss. But uh, so there, there is an exhale right now in college athletics uh, about this that Mark Emmert is finally done. He's not done soon enough, according to most people in the, in the bubble, but he is done. And it will set up a battle for who is either the caretaker of an organization that is now obsolete, or can the people that run this organization find someone who, who, sh who actually exhibits leadership, uh, which, some which is something that Mark Emmert never did. He's uh, the the former LSU chancellor, if you remember, he was at LSU. When Nick Saban was hired, he left to go to Washington as the president there. He uh, was hired there to become the NCAA president. It's interesting that uh, the uh, athletic director now at, at LSU, Scott Woodward, uh, worked under him at LSU and left to go with him to the University of Washington. Uh, so uh, there will be a, while, a, a mad dash to see who replaced Emirat, but there will be very few people. Uh, they may be uttering uh, platitudes tonight about what a great man he was and how well he served, but I can assure you, virtually nobody in intercollegiate athletics believes that.